Storm Power Components uh, provides in-house plating as a value-added service. Our plating capabilities are bright tin, matte tin, nickel, electroless nickel, silver, lead plating, tin on aluminum. The bright tin, uh, it has a low coefficient for, for mating purposes when you're actually connecting two pieces of uh, copper bar together. It has a high lubricity by nature, so uh, it helps with galling or uh, other attributes. It's also a very cost efficient uh, coating uh, compared to some of the other coatings that you can put on. So it's a, it's a highly used coating in the uh, bus bar uh, manufacturing. Uh, matte tin, uh, a little bit more suitable for reflow soldering applications. Uh, it has a little less discoloration at high temperature applications. Uh, it also uh, is a little less susceptible to tin whiskering, which is a concern in certain um, applications and environments. We also do nickel plating. Uh, nickel has a uh, improved corrosion resistance. Uh, it has a high wire resistance, a decorative finish. It's a real uh, kind of bright, lustrous finish. We also do an electroless nickel process. With electroless nickel, you get an even higher uh, corrosion resistance over the uh, electrolytic nickel. And you, d you also get the uh, hardness uh, aspect of it, uh, good lubricity that has a lot better uh, thickness coverage. That's due to the electroless process. Uh, the electroless process uh, has it does not have any high current density areas on the bar, so you don't build uh, a heavier thickness on w one area of the bar to the next based on the geometry of the part. Uh, we also do a silver plating. We, uh, we, we provide a non-cyanide uh, ASTM B700 process. Of course, it's silver, so it's an excellent conductor of electricity and heat dissipation. It's a, uh, a high temperature lubricity surface. Uh, it's excellent soldering characteristics. Uh, has a much higher melting point than say a tin would. So if you're if you're powder coating or you're doing secondary operations that elevates the temperature uh, above you know 400 degrees or so then uh, a silver is an excellent choice uh, for that. Uh, we also do lead. Lead plating is more for stationary battery connections, uh, wet battery, intercell connectors, uh, has great solderability, and it kind of is more based in those industries alone. Uh, also, we do uh, some tin plating on aluminum. Uh, aluminum has a uh, oxidation by nature. The oxidation on aluminum can cause trouble with electrical connections, uh, even if you're going to do secondary operations as painting or powder coating, you have to make sure you're removing that layer of oxidation off. So when you're connecting two pieces of aluminum maybe together for a connection, you know, you don't want to have that oxidation, uh, the aluminum oxidation present. So you would rather have a, a tin coating per se uh, to eliminate any galling. It also again adds the, uh, the lubricity so it it's just a, makes a lot better connection points for the aluminum dealing in electrical aspects. Uh, of course, we do uh, uh, a lot of testing in our plating applications. Uh, we test with XRF equipment uh, for thickness measurements and analysis of compositions of the plating. Uh, we also do adhesion testing. Uh, we do uh, in-depth titrations. We have a titration department uh, we have a lab that does uh, titrations uh, daily on uh, the chemical makeups of the plating baths uh, and all the other uh, process tanks involved in uh, electrolytic and electrolytic plating. So that's a, that's a, that's a rundown on Storm's kind of capability on plating and, uh, and what we do.